In 2018, February, the original HomePod was released. And here we are, three years later, finally having the HomePod Mini. Is it any good? We will take a look after the intro. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the HomePod Mini. Almost three years ago the original HomePod was released, but it was breaking the bank and didn't fit into the budget of many people. Now in 2020 we can get something really similar doing for a hundred bucks quite exactly what we were expecting before the original HomePod was released. Taking HomePod Mini out of the box gives already a really good impression about the build quality. It has some heft to it. The fabrics HomePod Mini is wrapped in feels really nice, it feels high quality. Down to the cable, USB-C, coming also wrapped in a very nice nylon. I'm all in on Apple HomeKit, but I never could find a perfect fit for upgrading the main control unit. HomePod Mini can finally fill in the gap for me. And Siri is really different. It is nice to talk more freely to an assistant controlling all Apple HomeKit devices. Apple TV didn't do quite the trick for me. All my comments here are first time impressions. It is not a full on review. If you want to know more, if you have questions, please let me know in the comments below. A really nice easy setup process. How Siri was greeting, introducing herself as a new assistant, it felt really like a different Siri. More personal and easy to use, executing the commands spot on controlling HomeKit devices. Fun fact, when the setup process of the HomePod was requesting to put the HomePod into frame, actually the picture of the box just did fine and because of the proximity between the actual HomePod and the box there was no issue there. Not a crazy fancy QR code scan like when we are tethering our Apple watches to iPhones. No, just the photo of the box did just fine. Hi, I'm Siri. Welcome to HomePod. You can't tell, but I'm waving. To get my attention, say, hey Siri. Let's get started. Say, hey Siri, what can you do? Hey Siri, what can you do? I can do lots of things, like turn on the lights, give you a news update, and tell you about the weather. Now you try. Say, hey Siri, play some music. Hey Siri, play some music. Playing all songs. Ooh. 
And here we are in 2020. I finally found my missing link in the HomeKit integration and that is the primary function I want HomePod to fill in. If you have a smart home or if you're into HomeKit devices, maybe HomePod Mini is just what you're looking for. Thanks guys for watching, have a great rest of the day, stay safe and see you in the next one.